The story of Jesus as performed by an entire village. Oberammergau is putting on the Passion Play. It's my first time in Oberammergau, and I want to find out what's so special about this particular production of the Passion Play. What is it about this once-a-decade performance that attracts so many visitors? The suffering Jesus Christ portrayed in a rural Bavarian idol? From May to October, the village goes into overdrive. People come here from all over the world to see the Oberammergau Passion Play. I wonder why. I think it's a, it's a once-in-a-lifetime opportunity to see a play that has 2,000 people, 2,500 people in a uh, and just the opportunity to see what people are so passionate about. A German visitor tells me what interests her is the fact that it's the inhabitants who fill the roles. She tells me that the son of the landlady at her guest house is playing Jesus this year. This lady explains how the village lives for the play and how it dominates daily life. The residents of Oberammergau have been rehearsing for a year. For months, the men haven't shaved and no one has cut their hair. It's all part of the tradition. Just before the next performance, I meet director Christian Stückel. He tells me that this is a difficult moment for the director. He feels like he's just getting started. Stückel picked the two actors who are playing Jesus this year, Andreas Richter and Frederick Mayet. There are two actors for every role. For Frederick, this is something of a dream role. People are often too intimidated to say they want to play Jesus, he says, but he's glad to do it. It's a humbling experience and he has a lot of respect. In real life, Mayat is the press spokesman for the Munich Theater. Richter is a child psychologist. They're just rehearsing the last words spoken by Jesus on the cross. The finer details are always a matter for discussion. They're mulling over where the emphasis should be when Jesus asks God why he has forsaken him. The discussion centers on whether they should speak it like the beginning of a psalm or give it a more modern-day edge. I wonder what makes the Passion Play so much more than provincial theater. For more than 400 years now, Oberammergau has been putting on the story of the crucifixion once every decade. In 1634, the village's inhabitants vowed they would perform the play every 10 years if God spared them from the plague. They were spared. Even today, the whole village gets involved, but only those born in Oberammergau or those who've lived there for more than 20 years can act in the production. Almost everyone here has taken to the stage at least once. It's part of life here, this man says. People are already looking forward to the next production, hoping to be in it again. This man has played a Roman no less than three times. He reprised the role of Pontius Pilate's servant three times and has been a high priest three times. This young man says despite their age, the experience really bonds people, making them feel like they've been friends for decades. Eva Maria Reiser plays Mary Magdalene. She tells me that the play brings a kind of energy to the village. Although rehearsals are exhausting and people end up with dark circles under their eyes, she says, everyone loves doing it and can hardly wait for it all to start. The two actors playing Mary Magdalene are meeting before the performance. Both were born in Oberammergau, and both acted in the Passion Play as children. In the dressing room, Eva Maria Reiser shows me her costume. She explains they're all a little stained from the bloodshed when Jesus is on the cross. For her, playing the role of Mary Magdalene is following in the footsteps of her great-grandmother, who also played the part decades ago. In real life, Reiser is a flight attendant. She's on unpaid leave for the Passion Play. 
Some people from Oberammergau are unable to take part because they live and work elsewhere. There are few local jobs for specialized professions. Woodcarver Tobias Hazeidel is one of the lucky ones. After the passion play, wood carving is Oberammergau's second biggest industry. He tells me carving also has a long history in the village. Wood carving and the passion play have coexisted for centuries. Wood takes prominence for nine years of the decade, the passion play the tenth. His daughter Verena is also in the play as one of the townspeople. She describes her scene. One crowd of people are on Jesus' side, she says. They cry that he should be let go. Then there's another crowd of people calling for him to be hanged. She says it's a beautiful scene with this rippling effect across the stage. Tobias says it's important for younger generations to take part from an early age, so the tradition is carried on into later generations. Upholding the passion play tradition is a financial boon to the village. Of course, there's a commercial side to the production, and Oberammergau lives from it. This lady sells souvenirs and says it's big business for everyone here every 10 years. And because springtime can be chilly in Oberammergau, gloves are just as popular as crucifixes. And it's never too early for Christmas decorations. It has the year, so, and I bought five for my nieces and nephews. Half a million people came to see the six-hour Passion Play the last time it was performed. I'm beginning to understand why people really want to see it. There are only relatively few tickets left for this performance. Meanwhile, the actors are gathering at the stage entrance waiting to go on, as they do almost every day. I'm impressed by the relaxed nature of the amateur cast. They're about to perform for 5,000 people, but they don't seem tense at all. Even the stubbornness of their co-performers fails to put them off. Lead actor Andreas Richter is relaxed too. He tells me that he used to be afraid of speaking publicly. He used to go out of his way at university and school to avoid it. And although he's facing his old fears, and with conviction too, he really enjoys it. In the orchestra pit, the musicians are warming up. I run into woodcarver Tobias Hazeidel again. Everyone brings to the production what they can. Experience is passed on down the generations. Even the amateur orchestra exude a professional air as they prepare to play to a full house. <laughs> the scene in which Jesus exhorts a crowd to love their enemies, to pray for those who persecute them. In my opinion, it's a performance that's worthy of any professional acting company. The people of Oberammergau bring a new aspect to well-known characters. And finally, the resurrection. Now I understand the amazing pull of the Passion Play. Every 10 years, a village is bonded by the Passion, and thousands more are drawn in to share the experience.